morning, everyone. Today we're continuing our show and tell series. A couple of weeks ago, we learned about contentment. Does anyone remember what that means? Being content means being satisfied with what you have. That may be especially hard right now, especially since we can't go anywhere or see our friends or family. But Paul taught us that God is the true source of contentment and that it's important to be thankful for what God has given us and what he has already done for us. Now we're moving on to a topic I'm really excited about, food. Okay, maybe I need to explain. Today we're talking about the fruits of the spirit. And uh, before you get too far along in this video, go back and watch the video that Jordan made on Thursday where she talked about the fruits of the spirit and made a fruit pizza. It's so good. And then we would love to see you and your family make the fruit pizza and talk about how you can incorporate these fruits of the spirit and make them more a part of your own life. So back to today's lesson, the fruit of the spirit. God teaches us things using different objects and stories to teach lessons and truth. Today's lesson is a perfect example of this. Let's read the verse together and see if we can memorize it. Let's join our new McKendry Kid of the Week as they teach us our memory verse this week. It's Galatians 5, 22 through 23. Hi, my name is Parker and I have a list too. I'm going to read to you Galatians 5, 22 through 23. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Bye! That was awesome. Be sure to practice that this week because one of you may just be our new McKendry Kid of the Week next week. So after reading that verse, we may still not know what the fruit of the Spirit is, but we do know what actual fruit is, right? It comes in all shapes and sizes, colors and tastes. Where does fruit grow? Most of it grows on trees like apples, bananas, and pears, but some of it grows on vines like melons and grapes. But for the fruit to grow, the tree must be healthy. What makes a tree strong, healthy, and able to produce fruit? Water, sunlight, nutrients, and the right weather conditions all help the tree grow healthy fruit. So what would you say about a tree that looks good but only produces rotten fruit? It's probably not a very healthy tree, right? And something would need to change in order for the tree to start producing healthy fruit. This is kind of what our Bible verses were talking about. But God isn't trying to teach us about trees. He's trying to teach us about ourselves. He's saying that what's on the inside of ourselves, our heart and our spirit, that is what ends up producing the fruit. And if our spirit is not healthy or happy or filled with God's love, then the fruit that we produce will be rotten, just like an unhealthy tree. The fruit that we produce is our words, our actions, our attitudes. So if we have an ungrateful, complaining, hateful heart, then what kind of fruit do you think we're going to produce? Rotten fruit, right? But if we have hearts that are filled with God's love and we've been praying and worshiping and reading our Bible, then what kind of fruit do you think that that will produce? The fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Today, we're going to focus on a couple of the fruits of the Spirit, gentleness and self-control. Do you know what these words mean? I have a perfect example. Have you ever seen a really small child or a toddler interact with a small baby animal? They get so excited and love it so much that they squeeze it too hard or they grab it around its neck. In that moment, they aren't using self-control to hold back their excitement and they definitely are not being gentle. What could end up happening? They could hurt the animal, right? Self-control just means controlling yourself, not letting your mind and body do things that are out of line. And gentleness is being tender and soft, not being aggressive or harsh. These things aren't just important for our physical actions. Self-control and gentleness are important when it comes to our bodies. We don't want to lose our temper and hit or hurt someone because we lose our self-control. But can you think about how gentleness and self-control would be great to use with your words and your actions? Okay, now we're going to read our Bibles together to get some ideas. So in 2 Timothy 1.7, it says, For God gave us a spirit, not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. 
So now take some time and talk with your families about how self-control can help us when we're fearful. When we get scared, it's easy to let our feelings take over, but we can use self-control to get our feelings under control. And we can remember that God is always with us and he will never abandon us. The amazing thing about the fruit of the spirit is that it's not the fruit of the people. Because if it was the fruit of the people and I had to rely on myself to maintain self-control and gentleness, I would not be very successful. But I get to make sure that I focus on um, keeping the spirit in my heart. And I can do this by praying and reading my Bible and worshiping. And then even in those moments where I still have trouble maintaining self-control, then I can go ahead and pray and ask God and I can be dependent on the Spirit to help me have the fruits of the Spirit. It's not about being perfect. It's about letting God help you every day. Before we get into our family talk time, here's the show and tell challenge for you this week. First, show us your favorite fruit. I actually really do like pineapple. And then tell us which of these two fruits of the Spirit, gentleness or self-control, that you'll be asking God to help you with and focusing on this week. All you have to do is take a video of yourself showing us your favorite fruit and answering that question and post it in the comments of this video so all your friends can see it. Hi, my name is Parker and the loose tooth came out. Um, so my favorite fruit is an a cutie and the fruit of the spirit that I'm going to be working on is self-control and how I'm, I'm going to do that is um, eating and only taking a small portion and swallowing it before I put another bite. Now it's time for family talk time. Parents, we've created a parent guide called Continuing the Conversation and posted it in the comments. You can use this during the family talk time to lead the discussion and help disciple your family right at home at your dining room table. You can enjoy your dessert all while you grow closer to Christ. Here's what you have to do. Take the time to look up and discuss the following scriptures and then think about what do they mean? What do they teach us about self-control and gentleness? Here's the first verse to look up. Titus 2:12. The next verse to look up as a family is Colossians 3.12. Next, look up Philippians 4.5. The next verse that I want you to look up is 1 Corinthians 10.13 and answer this question. Is it completely up to us to have self-control and be gentle? How does God help us? After you've looked up those scriptures and read them together as a family, talk together as a family and set goals that you can be working towards being more gentle, more self-controlled, and hold each other accountable. Of course, that's in love. We don't want to bring someone down when they struggle with gentleness or self-control, but we can pray for them, encourage them, and remind them that they don't have to do this alone. We have each other and we have God. We really hope that you've enjoyed spending time together as a family in the kitchen and at the dining room table. And if you didn't have time or the ingredients to make this very delicious, fruit pizza this week. Make a plan to make it next time. We'll be focusing on the fruit of the spirit for the next few weeks. And don't forget that you can be the next new McKendra kid of the week. I hope you have an awesome Sunday and don't forget to participate with your own show and tell videos.